But one night I said to him, I, I just all the legends had worked there. Yeah. And I go, hey, Tony, did Andy Kaufman ever work here? And he goes, Andy Kaufman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way he said it, I'm like, wait, he he knows him. But like, this isn't something that he, that he constantly tells people He goes, Andy Kaufman. Yeah. Yeah. I remember him. Yeah. He tried out once <laughs> and I go, really? And he goes, yeah. Yeah, we had heard about him around town. They were talking about this really good comedian, Andy Coffin. He goes, he came in here, and at the time, we had the comedians try out uh, at the end of the show. Like, we would do the show, the audience would leave, and then we would have the staff come in, and they would sit and watch and judge. What? Yeah. And he said the staff would sit and judge the comics. And so we would put on comic after comic, and the staff would say they're good enough to work here, they're not good enough. And he goes, so it was Andy's turn. And he goes, the comedian brought him up on stage, and he goes, he uh, came up on stage, and he started putting together a drum kit. Like, he just started bringing it from the van, piece by piece, and building it on stage. He goes, you know, that takes a while. <laughs> and so we're all like, how long is it going to take to see this show? He goes, so then he builds the entire drum kit. He goes, and then he leaves and goes downstairs. And we're like, where the fuck's this guy going now? And they said, the comic's like, oh, he's going to put on his outfit. So he puts on this outfit. I don't know if it was his Elvis outfit or what it was, but he goes, he puts on the outfit. He comes back upstairs and uh, he takes a bow and he goes, and then he goes back downstairs, puts his street clothes on, comes back upstairs. We're all waiting, going, you know, where's the joke? What's he doing? He goes, and he starts breaking down the drum kit piece by piece by piece. And we're all kind of waiting. And there's this silence in the room. Like we're waiting for this big laugh. He goes, and then he gets in the van and drives away. And he goes, Never saw that guy again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was one time at the improv here, he did an evening with Andy Kaufman. And uh, he specifically, the story I heard was that he specifically told Bud, absolutely no refunds can be given. Not a single, <laughs> you must not give any refunds to anybody. So he did an evening with Andy Kaufman. He had hooked up a washer and dryer on the stage. <laughs> ran, a, ran a hose into the kitchen and... Uh, and <laughs> The audience is seated and waiting, and he pulls up out front and, and comes in with baskets of laundry, and he just does his laundry. He puts it in the wash. He sits down. He starts reading the paper, and he literally he said nothing to the audience for a good 40, 45 minutes until people started heckling and everything, and, and then he was just like, well, what what do you want me to do? What do you want what? And then he would start like reading stuff from the paper and go, this is kind of an interesting story. And, uh, and, uh, and you know, it became a, a real, like, the crowd was really angry. And, um, and he did the whole thing, and he did the drying, and he folded everything. <laughs> he put them in the dryer, so you had a wash cycle and a dry cycle. And See, he I folded I it all up neatly, put it in the basket, and walked off stage, went into his car, and went home. And uh, that was what he... he, he what he said was, this is an evening with Andy Kaufman, and tonight I have to do my laundry. <laughs> my you know, I, I went uh, one day, uh, one Christmas day, I went to see uh, Schindler's List when it first came out. I went uh, on Christmas Day. Yeah. And uh, You and all the Jews. Yeah, so in the lobby, I just went real loud for everybody here. I just went, wow, that was incredible. What an amazing movie. Jesus. Could you imagine if any of that stuff really happened? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>